And uh, welcome back to MH76 Gaming. My name's Morgan, and this is Farming Simulator 19. Uh, first go at Farming Simulator. So, I'm going to start with the tutorials. Take it from there. Arable Farming. Learn the basics of the game and how to effectively work your land. That's what we need. <coughs> okay, in today's lesson you'll learn about arable farming. To produce crops, there are three mandatory steps. Cultivating, sowing, harvesting. Let's start with cultivating. Okie dokie. Cultivating areas, co sorry, cultivating aerates the ground before you start sowing your crops. You need a tractor and a cultivator for this task. First look around the area, then move up to the tractor, control player movement, SWDA, control the view with the mouse. Yep, so we can walk around. Spacebar jumps. Let's, uh, can we get into options from here? Settings, nope, okay. Need up the mouse sensitivity a touch because it's pretty. Well, I guess it's not an FPS. You don't need to be whipping around doing 180s. So let's we'll see how we go. Here's your tractor. Tractors are required to pull tippers and tools. Hop in E to enter the vehicle. So it looks pretty decent. A coal timer L three hundred. Okay, here's the gas pedal. Next to it, the brake, and you've seen a steering wheel before. Okay, you need to attach the weight and the cultivator. First, slowly drive to the small black weight in front of you and attach it to the tractor. Then move backwards towards the cultivator and attach it to the back of your tractor. The extra weight will counterbalance the heavy weight on the back. And it's Q to attach the tool. Okay, so there's a weight in front of us. Oh, that's the thing we're already we're already there. So Q. to attach the weight. Okay, since you have two tools attached, you can switch between them to operate them individually. The schematic view of your tractor in the top left, not there yet, displays the tool that's currently active. Select the cultivator at the back, lower it into soil, then drive up and down the field as straight as you can. So G to switch the tool, X to fold or unfold, and V to lower or raise the selected tool. Okay, there it is up above the controls. So we've got the front ones brighter. So we hit G, switch to the back. And we want to lower the cultivator. Actually, do we have to fold it or unfold it? Let's unfold it, see what happens. Ah, oh, it actually went in, so let's... That's it folded. And let's uh, lower. With V. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. So this is our field. So make sure we're doing the whole thing, not missing a bit down the side, it looks good. Uh, 
Ah oh, yeah, the mouse wheel moves back a bit so you can see what you're doing. If we raise that up or we turn around. Whoops. Probably doesn't matter if you harvest the grass at the end, but it seems like a waste. So not harvest, we're aerating, cultivating the soil. And you can see it's ripping all the little grass bits out. Little progress bar up the top right. It may matter more, not so much for cultivating, but if we're sowing seeds, if you've got that active while you're not actually on the paddock, you might be wasting seed, things like that. And we probably need to have a bit more overlap because I think I might have missed some of that at the other end, like a little narrow strip, but I'm not sure how precise it has to be. Oops, yeah, we've missed a strip down the back. Let's, uh, do it with a fair chunk of overlap this time, so, well, not a fair chunk, but enough. So we're not going to leave a big mist patch like that. Okay, nice done. Nicely done. You've got the hang of cultivation. Ready to plant some seeds? You know we are. Okay, cultivating has loosened the soil, making it well prepared for sowing. You'll need a tractor and sowing machine for this task. Make sure to fill the sowing machine with seed. Get in the tractor and attach the tools as you did before. E to enter the vehicle, Q to attach the tool. Okay, so what is this our big... Is this our seed? Guessing it is. And a Vardastad. Looks like some alien contraption. Time, uh, hmm. Interesting, okay. So, what's... There's no weight at the front. Is this a permanent weight on this tractor? What's this one? This one's a John Deere. Okay, in we go. Um... No, oh, C's actually got different cameras. Ah, okay, so you can drive from inside. As you do, or the outside view. So we back up. Q. Okay, first fill the sewing machine with seed, uh, with the seed pallet next to it, then turn it on so it can plant seeds. Finally, lower it into the soil. Once this is done, drive up and down. Okay, so. Refill the sower with R. Okay, so that's filling down the bottom right. Okay, so we just have to be parked beside that seed pallet that's now gone. We've got it all in the tractor. Okay, so we need to... Uh, I can't remember. Do we have to unfold this one? No, we got those down. Uh, so we want to... I unload. No, that was the wrong one. That's dumped everything out. Ah, bummer. I have to get closer to it. Uh, 
to refill. I thought there was something we had to do before we lowered it. Whoops. Okay, let's just lower it then. Ah, turn it on. With the B key. And again, we've missed that edge. But again, I'm not 100% sure how accurate it's got to be. That's what I was talking about before. We're out of the actual paddock area. Oops. Reversing skills are not fantastic. Uh, what are we doing? Turn it on. It might be easier to even do like every alternate. Go up and then come back in the opposite one so you don't try and do that tight turn on a 180 type thing. Now I may have turned that off a little early. Let's throw some more seed down there just to make sure. Okay, got our seed going well. Okay, seeds are planted, now it takes time for them to grow. Okay. After some time has passed, a field is ready to be harvested. In Korea, look in the map menu to see if any fields are ready to be harvested. You need a combine harvester and header for this task. The combine harvester harvests the grain and separates it from the stems. Then the grain can be sold. Okay, so enter the combine harvester and attach the header at the front. So nine for the map, so I'll just have a look at what it was talking about. Um, okay. So where the flashing one's down the bottom corner. I don't know if that what indicates that that field is ready or not, but we'll learn that as we go, no doubt. Okay. Another John Deere. Yep, so we've got to attach this to the front. Where do we get into it? Here's the steps. Oh, uh, yep. Interesting. A lot of controls there. Hmm. Okay, so we go forward a bit. Attach that. Okay, first a combine must be unfolded. Then you turn it on. This way the cutter is lowered automatically. It can also raise and lower it manually. Remember to keep it low for harvesting. So G to switch the tool, X to unfold, V to lower, and B to turn on. Okay, so looks like it's the same controls for everything. So once you remember those controls, and I believe that's me unfolding my truck. So let's change with G. Oh no, that had the front selected, didn't it? Okay, let's try that again. Let's 
So... Um... Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, that must be the rubbish coming out the back. The stems. Oh, I hope you can see something going in. Filling up the top of the truck there. Let's lift that up while we turn around. This one steers with the back wheels. It's a nice uh, tight turning circle. Okay, we're down again. Let's go. So we're getting pretty full there at the top. Combine tank is nearly full. Open the pipe. Drive alongside the tip at the edge of the field and empty the grain tank into it. Okay, so let's open, let's lower, ah, uh, raise that, sorry. Come back over here. Now let's open that pipe. Uh, pipe out. Okay, so it automatically empties when you're over the thing. Let's try and get it in the middle. Trailer fills up. Our load in there in the middle is going down. Great, get out of the combine and get into the tractor in front of the tipper. Right, let's put the Put the pipe away. Turn off the harvester. E to get out. Ah, oh, yep, and it's got the swung swings the stairs around the side to make it easy. Now, what did it say? Getting oh the tractor. Got to get in the tractor. Fair enough. This is a new Holland tractor. Flashing icon on your map shows you where to unload the tipper. Drive over there and empty the grain into your silo. I to start or stop the discharge. Okay. So we won't drive over the top of the wheat field if we can avoid it, or whatever it is where, whatever that grain is. Canola. Okay, so this is our silo over here. Swinging it out so we get the trailer nice and centered there. Okay, so I to start loading or unloading. Whoops. Ah, bumped the Q and detached it, so what do we got here? Okay, it's just like a a grate in the ground that's going to pour it through into an underground thing. It's pretty interesting. It's as much interesting in the game as interesting in uh, actually learning a bit about how uh, farming works. You know, you eat the food, you, you know, whatever, but you 
Yeah, you, know, you know it. You know it grows, but what happens between it growing and it hitting the table? I guess is something you don't always think of. Okay, excellent. The grain will keep well in your silos. There is a limited capacity you can store in them, but you'll be able to expand them later in the game. Once you're ready to sell your harvest, you can take the grain out of your silos and deliver them to one of the various selling stations in the world to make some money. Good work, and with this you are now prepared to turn your land into a thriving farm. Fantastic. We might hit crop protection as well. How many of these are there? There's six. Okay, soil care, fertilizing, baling and forestry. Okay. All different aspects of farming. Let's start the crop protection one. See how we go. That was actually... Uh, um, better than I thought it would be. It's because uh, you got all the intricate controls, but they've done well to make it, you know, the same keys for each thing. So you raise, you lower, you expand, whatever, and just queue to toggle between the the multiple multitude of units you've got on your on your uh, vehicle at once. So it's been done pretty well. Uh, honestly, with that you could probably even play it on a gamepad with the number of uh, keys and that it's using. Uh, after sowing your crop, you'll see weeds starting to grow at the same time as the crop. If you leave it this way, the weeds will reduce the yield of your crop. You can remove weeds using a weeder or a sprayer. Once the plants have sprouted, you can remove weeds by using a weeder in the early growth stages. Be careful that they don't grow too tall. Get in the tractor and attach the weight and the weeder. Okay. Geez, this thing looks like a uh, world of trouble. Should see if we can see what's the weeds. Yeah, it's hard to say which are the weeds and which are the crop. I'm not that familiar with it. Hmm. But there's a lot of each one though, so let's get in that tractor forward a bit, let's attach that weight, back it up, Oop. attach the Einbock Aerostar Rotation 1200, okay, yep, so G to switch to the tool, unfold the weeder and lower it to the ground, then drive over the field and remove the weeds, so G to switch the tool, X to fold, unfold, V to lower, okay, Front, back. Yep, so we're on the back, so we want to unfold with X. That's a serious bit of kit. Look at that. We're going to lower it with V. Let's get weeding. Wish I could weed my backyard uh, with this kind of efficiency. Okay, so the green is the weeds, the yellowish, lighter green is the crop. I hope either that or we've just destroyed our crop and we're growing weeds to harvest. That is uh, pretty impressive. Let's raise it up with V. We might even fold it up while we do our U-turn. Just because having it that wide, we might do things like clip that tree. Now this one, oh. So we didn't actually need to turn that tightly on this one. Because the thing's so wide. Okay, so again, let's just X to unfold. And V to lower it. Now we're cooking with gas. This is the way 
a lot easier to do it when it's this wide because you can have a decent overlap to make sure nothing's missed. <coughs> Okay, so lift it, fold it. And, whoops, we've lowered it. Oh, it does, doesn't matter. Okay. Looks like you can lower it first. So I prefer the outside where you can actually see the machinery working. Okay, let's just try and lift it and turn around. If we hold it nice and tight. Drop it down low. I wonder if that's actually wide enough to get done in one less pass if you do it right to the edge. Hmm, not sure. I'd like to know how it's getting the weeds and not the, uh, not the crop. Anyway, good, now your crops have more room to grow and they won't have to compete with weeds for nutrients. Alright, sometimes you might be late and the weeds have grown tall so a weeder can't remove them. In this case you'll need to use a sprayer and apply plant protection. So enter the vehicle, attach the tool. So let's have a look at the difference. Okay, yeah, so we can see now they're much taller. If the same light green is our crop, then these purple bush ones, the red, the white, so when they get to this stage, no more weeder, you need to spray. And this is a case H.I. Puma? Is that right? Not sure. Now let's go forward and get our weight. Let's go back. Pick up our Hardy Mega 2200. This thing looks like an absolute unit. Look at the tank. Okay, so like the seed thing, pretty much the same as when we got the seeds, we need to pull up beside the weeder here and R to refill. And you can see the herbicide filling up down the bottom right beside the uh, speedometer and the fuel and everything. Okay, now we're done. Let's unfold the sprayer. Oh, geez, Louise, this one's even wider. You know what? I could probably do my whole backyard in one pass with this thing. Actually, it might not even fit in my backyard. That's pretty wide. Okay, do we have to lower it or is it already low? And let's turn it on. Yep, and that's taken out all those coloured bushes or weeds, I guess they are. And we've missed one there. I do like to be a bit of a perfectionist, so let's turn it off now we've got that spray, let's lift it up. Let's retract it so we can do a turn. Because this will absolutely... Did uh, two thirds of the paddock, three, yeah, two thirds of the paddock. 
Unfold. <clears throat> then we can lower. I wonder if you even need to have it turned on. Ah, oh, lowered rather. Or if it's just spraying it, it's fine. Yeah, so you don't even need to lower that. It's just spraying liquid, so... As long as it's unfolded. Now you can probably even spray with it folded, but you're going to get very bad coverage. Maybe no coverage at all, because it's actually folded up to the side. Alright. That's crop protection done as well. Next up, we've got fertilizing, soil care, baling, and forestry. We might actually leave it there for this one and come back and do a few more tutorials in the next one. This was just a first look. Uh, see what's involved, start to learn it. Uh, yeah, so far, looks like it might be uh, decent. So we'll be definitely back playing a little bit more. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this, you can follow us live on twitch.tv slash mh76gaming. Uh, if you want to be notified before we go live, just follow the Twitter at mh76gaming. And after the streams, 1080p is the videos will be uploaded to YouTube. Just search mh76gaming there, and that will be sorted into a playlist for each game to make it easy to find. Uh, thanks for your time, thanks for your watching, and we'll catch you for some more Farming Simulator 19 next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.